Hey guys, it's Maroon here from ControlerMods.au just bringing you another tutorial with problem shooting on the uh, PS4 rapid fire chip that we have. Now, uh, let's turn that rapid fire off. Yep, it's off. Uh, just customer, just quickly, briefly just give a description what the controller's got the features on. Just got the nice Neo Noble uh, shell at the front. It's a bit of a gloss feeling. Just chose the purple D-pad and yellow option buttons. Got our logo in the front here. And on the back, we've got the Pro Grip yellow splatter with the action pro buttons on the back. And we also have the rapid fire, you can just see it right there, chip uh, mod button. Um, <clears throat> now, just giving you guys a bit of a rundown, I'll just turn off the flash so we can see the screen here. Uh, if I can get the screen light up to come off. And I've got my light in the background there. Anyway, I don't think it's going to bother us too much because we're going to be talking about the controller more. Um, yeah, look guys, when you get this controller and you get the rubber fire chip, there's a 10-page manual you'll get. I highly recommend you guys to read it and understand how the chip works. Um, I have another tutorial on the Xbox One S as well. And the same uh, instructions apply to the PS4, just different ways of, of getting into the... Uh, program uh, mode situation and to you know do your resetting and all that sort of stuff so but they're very similar in uh, in options as well uh, so what I'm trying to say for example uh, a lot of guys are getting these chips and girls uh, having trouble the gun starts starts doing all these funny you know funny little reaction things and and they don't know what to do so a quick way to do it quickly is to hold down both thumbsticks so hold them both down and just tap. And you see a little red flashing light? That's automatically shows, just it just deletes what you had already had put on the mode, all right? You got 10 modes, you got jump shot, drop, sh drop shot, you got sniper breathe, you got rapid fire, you got akimbo, you got all these other things you can put in there. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, but you know, you can only put so many at a time, you know what I mean? You can put three on and so forth, but um, the best, obviously, you know, just keep it simple. Don't go too complicated with the chip because, you know, the chip can only take so much of mods that can go in on the on the chip at a time. It does not work on, say, for example, if you, uh, we've got a pistol now, and I think this is a, this is a fire bursting light. So if I put the rubber fire on, you can see the little flashing green light there. Now, if I just tap, you can see how that just sprays. So if I have to take off rapid fire, which I can just take it off, you can see there's no more flashing light there. That's on. The camera's not going to focus, but anyway. You can sort of see that flashing light, turn it off. If I just press one time, it's not bad, you know what I mean? But when you've got the rapid fire chip put on and you and you um, aim and it just helps you aim as well. You can, you can link back and forth and all that sort of stuff. Um, so I've got the rapid fire chip on at the moment. The rapid fire's on, and I can actually put on sniper breathe at the same time. So what you do is you hold down your um, L3 and tap one time. You see a little green light there as well. And now when I aim in, it's, it's like locked in. I can keep my finger there until he'll, then you see, then he's taking his breath because you're gonna even hold your breath for a certain amount of time. So this helps like get on your target straight away. As soon as you aim on, He's on there, you know what I mean? He's got to just do little micro movements to get that aim and so forth. So that's a little benefit to the game. Um, helps you out, you know. So when you come into a, a situation like a problem like we're having with people saying that the thing's doing all these funny, um, you know, doing all these spasms and stuff like that, what you do is you hold down all four of your triggers. So your bumpers and your triggers. You hold all four at the same time. So you just hold all four down at the same time and you'll see that light come up. It's like a little pink light comes up on that little center where your um, rubber fire uh, flickers. So when you're not there, all you need to do is hold down both thumbsticks. Very simple. Hold down both thumbsticks, thumbsticks and you'll see that little red light will do a red, blue, green flashing light. There we go, let's do it now. Red, doing a blue, and then there's a green, that's it. And now we're back 
You don't have to hit touchpad, you don't have to hit touch up and all that sort of stuff. It's done it already. So now if I just hit my rapid fire, you can see the rapid fire is going and it's much slower. The flashing lights much slower because it's on mode one again. We reset the whole chip to back to, to factory mode. So to turn that button on to make your rapid, your fire sh uh, shots faster is just hold the button on the back, just that mod button. Just hold it, hold it down, and you'll look at your LED touchpad. It flicked two lights there. That's in two, that's in mode two. Hold it down again. Take your finger off when it flashes to take your finger off. It's on three, and we want it on four. One, two, three, four. There you go. Now, if I hit the button, the light flashes even faster, showing that you are you now in a faster shooting mode. I wouldn't suggest going any higher than three and four. Um, you can leave it on one, you can leave it on two, but I wouldn't go any past level uh, four. The gun just starts shooting real slow. All right, so let's go into a. Um, where are we? Assault rifle somewhere. Here we go. Now, I think I have to kill myself somehow. Yep, I've got C4 here. Alright. Okay, so. Now, we're in rapid fire mode. The rapid fire is actually um, flashing here. You can see it's just flashing. Um, and if I go shoot, it's not bad. You can see how it's shooting slower. Then I would take off the rapid fire, which I've taken it off. I see no flashing light, and it shoots obviously more faster. That chip is designed to shoot for weapons that are semi-automatic, not full automatic. So pistols, shotguns, semi-automatic rifles, and all that sort of stuff. This chip is perfect for it. It is not meant for for SMGs and assault rifles. Okay, so just put that out there before you guys think about buying this chip. It's not gonna make your machine gun shoot faster than it's already shooting, because that's how the game is designed, okay? So keep that in mind um, when you do purchase this chip. It's not for machine guns, it's not for assault rifles. It's for weapons that are semi-automatic weapons, okay? Um, you get a remapping chip inside the controller as well. It comes with the chip. It's actually installed with the chip. So you can actually remap these buttons at any time. You can change it over to O, you can change it to square up, down, whatever you want, you can change it. The only thing you cannot mod it to is your touchpad. Uh, I think you can, uh, so you can do it to the touchpad, but I don't see the reason why, but uh, you cannot um, do your uh, share and option, share and option buttons, and you can't do your PS button, obviously. Uh, everything else you can do, you can remap any of those buttons or at the back of the buttons here, and you only get two with a rapid fire chip with the PS4. The Xbox, you will get it with four buttons, it's just the way the chip's designed with the PS, uh, with the Xbox. It has four, the PS4 has two, and you know who knows in the near future it could go to four. We've got the PS5 coming out, and um, a lot of things are happening with the PS5. It's coming out, so uh, stay tuned for that. We'll be be doing some more, um, obviously, up and coming videos with that when it comes out. Um, so. Uh, with any other issues with these controllers, please guys, if you have any issues, any concerns, information, anything, just drop a comment in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions. Uh, please give us a big thumbs up, you know, and give us a follow, uh, subscribe to our channel and hope we can make it grow to a bigger channel and hopefully we can, uh, you know, put out more videos and, and hope it help all the people out there, you know, how these modifications work. Um, but yeah, if you have any issues, guys, please don't hesitate to contact us uh, Contact us for our website at controllermods.com.au. Uh, just go into info there and you can just send us an email. We'll get back to you in a couple of days. It could be a day, could be a couple of days because of the flow of traffic. Um, but I hope you liked the video, guys. Take care. Be safe out there. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.